So, uh, welcome and hello to this screencast. Uh, this video is uh, demonstrating a usage of OGC WPS on the flood portal of uh, Liberec region in Czech Republic. Uh, this is a big application where all the people are going whenever there is a flood in uh, Liberec region and uh, at the first page they can find what's new in the whole area but we are here interested in one of the maps and concretely in a general map. You can see that uh, this application is in Czech exclusively so you might have difficulties to uh, uh, in the orientation with the orientation in the application. So this is a standard map uh, PHP map script based map uh, so it isn't that dynamic as you might be used to already nowadays. However, it has standard function. For example, we can zoom in into some region and after it is drawn again uh, we can define, uh, we, can, we can turn on several layers more concretely. These ice lines based on the digital animation model. Okay, one step farther. And uh, now we can click somewhere into the map and uh, with this pin tool and two things are happening. First, new window pop up and second there is a marker in the map so this is the interface to the WPS or to the set of processes uh, coming from WPS server we have four processes here uh, the first one is based on uh, our uh, watershed, watershed grass module the second one is based on uh, our lake. The third one uh, is calculating uh, flow or streamline uh, based on our drain. And the last one is calculating visibility based on our loss. So I'm going to demonstrate uh, two of them. First the R drain module, let's say and uh, this module doesn't require any other input uh, just the coordinates which uh, were defined by clicking in the map so let the calculation begin it will take several minutes The calculation is done now. The user can download the result uh, as a GML file, uh, which is stored on the server, and you can see that uh, there is a flow line, new layer in the map, flow line or streamline, which is flowing somewhere uh, based on the digital elevation model. going somewhere outside the border or it is going up to the end uh, of the digital elevation module. Another module I would like to demonstrate is our loss module uh, which is calculating the visibility uh, of uh, some area from a defined spot. In our case this will be 
this hill again the new window pop up and we will choose the visibility now actually two other inputs have, uh, beside of uh, coordinates two other inputs are needed uh, the first one is the observer height which I will take I will say that the user or uh, the eyes of the observer are in 10 meters above the elevation model and the maximum distance uh, which can be seen I will let these 20 kilometers and let the calculation begin again you can see that the process is actually calculated uh, in asynchronous mode uh, but our loss module is uh, very, s very uh, slow actually so it really takes time before it is done I already mentioned actually that uh, and it is clear that uh, in the background uh, grass GIS modules are used exclusively and for, for the communication part uh, between client and server where the client is little PHP script uh, not the map itself but